what am I talking about today? I'm talking about different ketones. Uh, but my speech is about performance tuning, uh, which includes the different ketones and uh, why it's important to know what the different ketones does. So, I start very simple. And I start with our Formula One team, because it's popular in Finland. You know, Bottas, I, he's my hero. And it's, it's a good thing to use to compare the ketones and your body as an engine. Every cell in your body needs fuel to make power. If you give that cell the right fuel, you can optimize your performance. So like a Formula One car, when it breaks, it saves some energy into a battery, which it can use in the DRS zone when it's trying to maximize its power and overtake another car. So to use the right fuel is key to get the most performance out of your life. So, Fat is your standard fuel. Your body is designed to use fat. The excess food you eat will be stored as fat. A little portion of it will first be stored as glycogen, which is the performance fuel. Glycogen is used in an anaerobic environment when you really need that high power. Always using that high-power fuel will actually make your engine less effective. The brain fuel, the ketones, are the best. So, what I want to say is really that the rocket fuel wears out your engine. Always using glucose or carbohydrates will turn into coatos glucose is less efficient. So if your body cells cannot use fat because they're always using glucose, you will be very tired when the glucose gets out. The switch from glucose to fat takes a while. But if you are using a ketogenic lifestyle, you always be using fat and you save your rocket fuel for when you need it. So fat fuel is optimal. Look at Bottas. He has his focus. He's 100% focused. And he got a lot of energy for his brain and his body. So by optimizing his fuel, he can be more efficient than Lewis Hamilton sometimes. The breath ketones. That's acetone. That is what you can, if you look at a car, it's exhaust fumes. Whenever you put the pedal down to the metal, you will get some exhaust fume. That you're accelerating, you're using a lot of energy. And if you're using fat as energy, breath ketones is the fumes. That's when you're accelerating or keeping your speed. Blood ketones. They are just really the recycled braking force. It's like a modern car when you brake. Some of that force gets into the battery. But it's also used in the next hill, going upwards. So measuring blood ketones is really like, well, it can be anything, really. And especially, they are more when the body is breaking down. You don't need as much energy. So, Having high blood ketones can get you in, as you think you are in high ketosis, but actually it's after ketosis, it's after you making ketones. To make this into uh, ketosis, they invented something called glucose, ketone glucose index. That is just like sugaring the value of blood ketones to make it useful because glucose is more, it's a better indicator of 
ketosis than blood ketones. So which fuel are you using? If you want to find out, you can come to our booth and test. Doesn't cost anything, and start using the right fuel for the right time. Save your rocket fuel for when you need it. Don't make your cells using glucose all the time. Save it for when you need it. Thank you very much. Okay, thanks. So I have two questions. The first one is. Um, And imagine I'm sort of not an expert in this. What's the most challenging aspect of building a reliable breath ketone analyzer? Oh, that is... Um, you have to understand how the body works, because it is not as easy as an alcohol analyzer, for example. It's quite different. So you have to have access to expensive labs and analyze thousands of breaths and understanding why it's changing. So it's a matter of data, meaning eventual studies. A lot subjects. of data, yeah. Okay. A lot of data and a lot of understanding so how it works. So it's really about data rather than the actual physical components that make up the ketone analyzer. You have to, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. And the and second, algorithms, yeah. how to... Uh, okay, yeah, to train yeah, the algorithm, yeah. for sure. And the second thing I want to know is... Um, Who's your current target customer? Who basically buys this kind of device? I have epilepsy. So I want to help people with epilepsy or people that want to reverse type 2 diabetes or uh, so it's a very cancer or whatever. specific but yet large yeah. audience. And, well, if you want to lose fat, if you want to be a better ultra runner, mm -hmm. ketones is the way because you will be using the right fuel.